welcome to today's video. My name's Amy if you're new here and today I have a thrift haul. So I went to Basildon which is probably, I'm going to say it, my favourite place to thrift. I find lots of designers, I find lots of things are very cheap and today I thought I would just give you a rundown on all the bits that I got but first I'm going to give you some little come thrift with me footage because anything I saw that I didn't pick up or just things I thought you guys would want to see, I filmed and just filmed a bit of the overall experience. Um, I didn't get too many clips. I'm thinking if you guys want me to do a proper come thrift with me I will get someone else to come with me to film um, but let me know if you want to see that but I'm going to play the clips now so you can see what the thrift stores were like in Basildon and I'll just play them for you now. So that is all the footage I got from Basildon. So without further ado, let's have a little look of all of the things I've brought. So Haven's Hospices is one of my favourite shops to shop in. And as you've seen from the clip, they actually gave me a little loyalty card. So if you brought a certain amount of items, I think it was about, I don't know, 15, 18, I don't know. They had like stamps on there. Um, once every item you buy, they stamp it. And then if you buy a certain amount of items, you get £5 off your next visit, which is amazing. And to be fair, when I go in there, I normally buy loads anyway because everything is £2. So one of the things that was £2 is in a size 16 and it is literally a just this oversized kind of Hawaiian-y tropical, I'll show you the back so you can see the print, um, shirt. And it is just this button up. It's got massive shoulder pads, which I'll probably cut out. And I'm not gonna lie, when I showed this to my mum, she was like, ew, what is that? I'm thinking on top of a white bikini, this would look really, really cute as a little pull cover up. I'm also thinking just with some denim jeans, no, denim shorts, and then a little white, um, Bikini top ones, I think those will look really cute for holiday and I just really like the colours on this. So I picked that one up for £2. So here is the cover up. I actually have all my bikinis packed away. So I've just popped on with the sports bra and some cycling shorts. You can kind of but imagine this is a bikini. I think this is a perfect kind of cover up to be honest because it is big enough. I can kind of wrap it around me. But then it's open. It's also got quite a nice length so just about to cover my bum as well. So if I'm feeling a little bit insecure and don't want my bum out, then this is perfect. So I'm actually loving this for a beach cover up. I have literally got no official beach cover-ups. They've all just been kind of oversized shirts and kind of sheer trousers that I found in the charity shops. And I'm actually going to love getting all these pictures on the holiday. I'm meant to be going on a sunny holiday in February, so you'll see it then. Um, but yeah, I think this is perfect for a beach cover-up and I'm so excited to wear it. Next thing I picked up was also from Haven's Hospice and it's in a size 14 and it was £2. And originally it's from Soon, I assume that's Monsoon. Um, and it's basically just this kind of white embroidered detail dress. Now I won't be able to show you super easily on here, but it's sort of this midi length and it's got this sort of fishtail detail at the bottom. Now I'm really, really hoping this fits because it is a size 14. It doesn't look like it has a zip and it looks like it's got no stretch so this may be one that i might not fit to now um i'm definitely hoping i do but for only two pounds i thought i'd pick it up anyway and i'm just praying this fits it may be one i'm thinking i can get on and then can't get off but if there's not a try on clip you know it didn't fit um but i'm really hoping this one does i think it was only two pounds so i just think this would be gorgeous on holiday as you can tell, a lot of these pieces I'm getting in hope of a holiday, although we have got about two days of heat here, so maybe I'll get away with wearing them in for them two days. So here is the white dress. My mum said this is her favourite. She likes this one a lot. Uh, I do like it, but it's just very different for me. The shape is very different. Um, again, the length is like just kind of below my knee, kind of a bit of a midi length. Um, and yeah, I don't know. The shape is just strange to me because I don't wear this shape 
I do think it's flattering. I do like the pattern. I like the, I don't know why this is throwing me off. I think it's just, it's very, this is like very new to me. But yeah, this is a her favorite. So I'll definitely be keeping it, I'll definitely be wearing it. But yeah, it's a bit snug. I think that's what's putting me off because I've been wearing something that's very baggy recently. Um, but yeah, it is really cute. I do feel a bit like I'm going to a wedding. Next thing I got was also from Haven's Hospice. It was in a size 16. It was two pounds again. This is originally from BHS and it's just this gorgeous kind of Hawaiian -y tropical print red and white dress now this really reminds me of the wizard of waverly place movie where they're all wearing tropical dresses does anyone know that where they kind of forget their parents or their parents forget them and it's really intense but this really reminds me of that and again it's kind of got that kind of fish tally shape quite sort of hugging on the top and then a bit wider at the bottom or well, the only thing i'm worried about this dress is it has got kind of them cup not cup details but kind of the under boob stitches now as a bigger chested lady i find that my boobs never really fit in this and it also makes it a bit difficult with a bra but i'm hoping as this is a size 16 they will fit anyway and my boobs will fit it in there but i think this is super cute and i'm really excited to wear this on holiday so here is the dress i like this but i feel like the fit's a little bit off like up here and I don't know, there's something about the fit isn't great. And I also feel like I need to pin it here. But I think, to be fair, I think it can make it work. I think this little bit here, to be fair, a lot of my tops do that. I don't really know why. Um, but yes, I do really like the print. I like the shape of it. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but I do also kind of love it. I just don't know. I think the shape up here is throwing me off a little bit. But I think style, this could look super cute. And said, I really love kind of the tropical vibes of this. But yeah, this is the red dress. Also from that shop, which if you are in the area, definitely check it out. It's amazing. Everything's two pound or less. The people in there are lovely. Um, and behind the tills, they actually have all their handbags. And I spied this one and thought this was super cute. So this was two pounds and it's got this gorgeous kind of metal detail on the sides. And it's just this gorgeous little mini bag. And the only thing is when you kind of put this over your shoulder, it's a bit difficult. So I think this will be one you hold in your hands. I just think this is gorgeous. And for two pounds, I couldn't say no to a black mini bag. I did get one from the charity shops um, a couple of months ago, well, maybe last year, and it is that floozy brand, never know how you say that. And I think it was like six or seven pounds, but actually the lever on the back of it is kind of coming off, which I didn't notice when I brought it, which is my number one thing. Definitely check everything you buy because I always forget and then sometimes things like that where they're a bit tatty. Um, but I thought this was a cute alternative and it's slightly smaller. Um, but I thought this was super cute and I thought I'd pick this up. Then the last thing from Haven's Hospice for £2 in a size 14 is this. Now, I thought this was one of them cute little bandeau tops that are kind of floaty at the bottom. And my mum loves these for holidays, so I thought I'd pick it up. Turns out it's actually a play suit. Now, this is, as you can probably tell by the fact that I thought it was a top, is very, very short. Now, I don't think this will fit either of us as it is, but I am tempted to actually kind of snip where it is a play suit and kind of try and hem it a little bit. Um, I say me, uh, maybe get my nan to do it. But I just thought this then as a top would be super cute. As I know, I don't think either of us would wear this as a play suit. Um, so it may or may not be a try and clip for this one as well because I don't think I'm actually going to fit into this. Um, but I think as a top, this will look super cute. So I might do a little DIY on this and then hope that my mum can wear it. I actually bought this for my mum on holiday as kind of a little strapless top, which is super practical because you don't get tan lines. <laughs> So I did get it on and yeah, it is quite snug, but for a holiday, this is perfect. This is the sort of thing I'll be lounging around the pool in. And yeah, for holiday, this is perfect. My mum says she'll help me and she'll wear it too. I have left on my bra straps, so just ignore them. But yeah, it's a bit snug, kind of around the thigh, kind of tummy area. Thigh, bum and tummy, that literally is where all my clothes just stick to me but yep for holiday this is perfect and yeah nice and lightweight as well you can roll this up super small so if you're going to the beach you can pop this in your bag and yeah this is a perfect one to kind of slip on after you come out of the pool and yeah why am I just literally all I'm thinking about right now is holiday so the next things I got were from cancer research so I first picked up this scarf now this was one pound and it's just this gorgeous kind of red detail scarf it's also got little black and white and pink stripes at the end and I actually brought this to go in my hair I've been loving wearing scarves kind of tied in my hair at the moment and I actually think considering my hair is very short at the moment to tie it in and then kind of tie it down into my ponytail it's actually a really cute look and it kind of gives the kind of feeling of having a ponytail but obviously it's a scarf rather than hair and I don't know I got this for a pound so I thought I would try that out in my hair and I'm always looking for more hair accessories then the next thing I got was two pounds it's originally from Disney and it is just this gorgeous men's 2xl goofy t-shirt now I'm not gonna lie 
Goofy isn't my favourite Disney character out of the, the big, is it the big five? But he's not my favourite. But I do love him and I'm not, I'm not getting angry. He's just my least favourite out of all of them because I love all Disney characters. But Goofy, I don't know. Maybe I need a good character interaction with him because I don't really think I can remember a time having a character interaction. Um, so I think when I go to Disney, I'm going to try my list and try and meet Goofy because I know the characters really love you if you're wearing them on your t-shirt and I feel like that'd be really cute. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got this Goofy t-shirt and it was £2 and I thought this would be a good one. It's 2XL, it's a nice and oversized so I'll be able to wear this with cycling shorts and I think this is just a comfy one to wear around the house and then also for Disney. So here is the Goofy t-shirt. It's quite sheer, um, which I knew from the material anyway, so just make sure I'm wearing a white bra when I wear this, but that literally just above me. It's just a case of wearing a white bra. But yeah, I love this so much. The Goofy looks so cute and it's nice and oversized size this is my perfect kind of oversized like fit um and yeah i love it with cycling shorts it's perfect and not too much to say about it it's a great disney t-shirt and i'm all for the funky disney t-shirts then also from cancer research for three pounds i got this gorgeous gorgeous coat now i can't remember what color this is it's kind of in between a lilac and like a blue and it's just this gorgeous coat it's originally from maths man as i say this is three pounds and it was in a size 16 and I just thought, although the weather is nice today, it has been pretty miserable. And I thought this would be a good one to kind of go into autumn. And I also think this would be a really nice one actually to kind of go into spring when it's still cold. Because it's still that kind of spring colours. And I'm hoping this autumn, winter, I don't kind of fall into the trap of just wearing black and kind of browns. And I still kind of want to incorporate some colour, which I've been loving in my wardrobe recently. Um, so I thought this would be a good bright coat to wear when I want to feel colourful, even in autumn and winter. It is the coat. I love this. It feels very smart. This is definitely like a going out for dinner. I imagine this, yeah, definitely is a smart coat. Um, but also, who doesn't love it smart every day? Um, but yeah, I think this is a super nice one. It feels very warm. It feels good quality. And I feel like this over like a dress, if you're going out, would be really lovely. Just to kind of really smart up an outfit. Sort of when you've got a smart outfit on and you want to pop a coat on, I think sometimes they can kind of take it down a notch. But I think with a coat like this, it definitely looks very professional and I really love it. Also from Cancer Research for £1, I got some earrings. Now, I never used to check the jewellery section at all in charity shops. And I've really become trying to make a habit of it because I've got some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces, including these earrings. So I'm going to try and show you the best I can. I'll just show you one because they look the same. So they are this gorgeous kind of bluey grey kind of detail on them and then they've got these gorgeous kind of painted flowers i'm not sure how well i'm showing you these but they're just these gorgeous kind of painted flowers on there and they're just kind of dangly earrings so what i do is i come home and i sanitize these they're all fresh um and yeah i always like to check these because for a pound for a nice pair of earrings i thought that was super cute um obviously don't hold out hope they're like silver because they probably aren't um, so if you are kind of sensitive to what um, metal is going in your ear, then maybe don't check it. But for me, I find I really like to check the earring section. And especially in that cancer research, I have a whole kind of little basket full of earrings, full of hair accessories. I saw some gorgeous kind of pearl hair slides in there today. And um, have necklaces and bracelets. And it's just a sort of section that if you're kind of going in and kind of briefly kind of going around, you might miss. Um, so definitely look high and low when you go in the charity shops, look in the little baskets they have, quite often you can find some gems and i've got some lovely lovely earrings like literally my favorite earrings are from charity shops and the craft corner of course and yeah i've got some really nice ones so i love them and then finally i've got some stuff from british heart foundation which i'm going to show you this because i think you might have seen this in the kind of come thrift with me section let me take off this sticker so this was one pound and it's just this gorgeous kind of burgundy and baby pink little bag now i thought this is the cutest little mini bag ever and this is the sort of thing that i'd see on kind of the fast fashion brands for a ridiculous amount of money and this was literally one pounds from british heart foundation and i just thought this is the cutest little instagram trendy little pinterest bag i've ever seen and it would literally just fit your phone and maybe a lipstick and your card and maybe a key and i just think that these are perfect when you're going on a night out or an evening or drinks or a date or whatever and you just want a little bag to keep your stuff in this is a perfect little size you don't feel like you're carrying around a big weight 
And yeah, I just thought this was really cute. And for a pound, I literally love this. And I snatched this right up. These next two pieces I'm gonna show you and then do the try on clip together because I brought these to be together. So I first saw this skirt. So this is from British Heart Foundation. It's in a size 38. Um, and it, had, it was on a size 22 hanger. So I don't know if this will fit because my waist is about 33, but then it looks quite small. But this was £4.49 and it's just this gorgeous kind of green funky print skirt um and it's just probably about knee length and it's kind of this skatery style but i just love the pattern on this so much and to go with this i got this bodysuit now this is originally from primark it's in a size large and it was £3.50 and I don't normally uh, try and avoid buying Primark as best I can but I thought this bodysuit is kind of the absolute perfect match of green to go with this skirt for a super sort of kind of autumnal 70s vibe monochromatic outfit and I think these two will look so gorgeous together and I'm excited for this with maybe some nice boots and oh my gosh, it screams autumn to me, but also, yeah, very vintage and classy. And I'm really excited to try this on together. And I really hope this looks as good as it does in my head. So here is the skirt and top kind of bodysuit combo. And I actually love this. It came together exactly how I was imagining it. This is my favorite kind of vintage -y vibe outfit. I don't know what it is that makes me feel like this is very vintage. I don't know if it's the um, kind of pattern on the skirt or just kind of the shape and length. And I just think this is such a gorgeous kind of really classy outfit. And I feel like this is the sort of thing that I really just think screams me. And I've been trying to refine my style. And on Pinterest, I've been trying to kind of find my personal style through that and kind of looking what things actually seem to me. And definitely monochromatic outfits with fun patterns definitely is kind of what I gravitate towards. This is at the length that I would also wear my chub rub shorts so I could feel secure in that. And I think it was some black boots and a nice coat. This would be perfect for autumn and I'm really loving it. So that's everything I picked up today. If you did enjoy today's haul, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment what your favorite piece was down below and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.